Hi, Sandy. Thanks for joining us. We're going to start with Jeff Metcalf from the Arizona Republic. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Jeff. So can uh, I guess you give us an update on Diana and, you know, whether she can go and what, what kind of happened there? Um, what do you, with, with her back or her, she's a little, uh, she's well, they listed her earlier today as questionable with some kind of hip injury. So yeah. I, that's what I was asking you about. Okay. She's warming up, but we'll see. She'll make a game time decision, uh, see where she's at. So, um, you know, uh, she's out there now. I, I haven't heard from it, so we'll, we'll know soon enough, but, uh, you know, hopefully she can go, but if she's not 100%, I don't want her to go in that regard. She's, she's still coming back, still getting the legs under her. Um, so we'll see what happens. Is this something that just cropped up since the Minnesota game or something that happened in that game? Yeah, no, apparently she can't remember when it happened, to be quite honest. Um, so uh, it could have been from training. I mean, just popped up from our, the training two days ago and she felt sore yesterday. Uh, so she, you know, we're getting the treatment, we're trying to help her and, and ultimately it'll be her decision, you know, what's her pain level. She's trying to warm up now, so we'll see how she goes. Thank you. Next up is going to be Doug Feinberg with the Associated Press, followed by Carolyn Peck. Hey, Sandy. Good to see you. You too, Doug. What is it going to take for you guys? I mean, the Minnesota game was obviously were not great on, on the offensive end. What's it going to take to sort of get that fixed and, and not have the problems that happened in Minnesota, against Minnesota? Yeah, look, uh, look, I think, you know, uh, we've just got to make some shots. I mean, it's not that we're getting not getting open shots. It's all about just getting some consistency in our, in our shooting game and, and not just relying. I'm not talking about just the big three, everyone just doing their part and, and just having a little bit more poise so we can move the ball and making sure we're getting great shots every single possession. Um, you know, sometimes we might take a good shot, but let's try and get a great shot and move the defense a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's kind of deflating. We're getting stops and then you get out and run, you can't put the ball in the basket, but we just got to stay confident. I mean, that's all you can do. I mean, yeah, that was a terrible game in the last game. And, um, you know, Minnesota were good and we were terrible. Uh, but we, we know we've got a, obviously a big opponent tonight and, and we've got to make sure every possession counts both ends of the ball. So hopefully the, hopefully the ball's going in the hole tonight. That'll help. If D can't go, does Sophie go back to the starting lineup? Do you figure out what works best? Yeah, I think Sophie. I think when the last time that we started her, I think that was really good energy for us. So Sophie will get that if D um, doesn't think she'll be able to go tonight. Thanks, Sandy. We'll finish up with Carolyn Peck. Hi, Sandy. Good to see you. Um, how much do you think um, the the weight of the Olympics coming up? Do you think that could be a bit of a distraction um, for for my team or for all teams? Mm -hmm. All teams, all across the board. Yeah, look, I, I suppose, you know, I suppose, you know, we've been in those situations before. It can, for some teams and maybe for our team, it's good to regroup, even though we have so many players there. It's just hard. I mean, I suppose you, you stop for a month that you're going to lose your momentum, for, especially the teams all the way up the top. I suppose that's, you know, some of us could need the break just to, to, to get it all back together. The ones all at the top that's, you know, have great rhythm, maybe they don't want to. So, you know, we're doctors. It's not something we haven't done before. We've all had to manage this in the past, and it's nothing new for us. And, um, yeah, we, time will tell, Carol, and we'll see. And uh, Diana always plays well against the Aces. What is it that turns her up against Vegas? Well, I suppose she loves playing against the best, too. I mean, you know, I mean, she's yeah, she's a competitor. You know, so it's hard for her when she's not 100%. She's just the ultimate competitor winner. And, um, and and regardless, like, you know, she's had, you know, hasn't been able to put the ball in the hole the last two games. But we know that's that's not going to last very long. So, um, you know, she can just be aggressive. And she likes that physicality, the way that they play. And uh, they're a great team. So, you know, maybe she rises to the occasion for that. All right. Thanks for the time. Oh, Carolyn, did you have another question? No, you're good. Thanks for the time, Sandy.